We're following Tony over here, Kannapolis, North Carolina, to the Stuart Haas Racing Facility. He's gonna give us a little sneak peek. Everybody's away racing this weekend, so we got the whole place to ourselves. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> ourselves or what welcome to the house oh this is nice <laughs> look at this yeah yeah man yeah, who's that so that's gene hoss that's his uh ford gt it's a new one yeah that's brand new yeah and uh a little over 500k holy heck so so is that one of the first ones that they yeah had me yep they delivered it here to the shop and they Brought it out, drove it in here and parked it. It's been sitting there ever since. Wow. I bet you that thing He's got one of each year. It's a little over 500 grand. Yeah. So you think he'll ever drive it or is it just... No. Still got the sticker it. on the dash? Yeah, there. he won't drive it. Really? No. Wow. That thing is awesome. He's got some... All the, uh, the fab guys that built the body on it, he put yeah. their names there. But wow. after the race, the guys, everybody there, there signed their names to it. Mm. That's crazy. So that saw it looked better whenever you first took yeah. the picture. Yeah, it's a little dead now. Man, dude, this thing is banged up. I can't even yeah. believe it. Finish. <laughs> I mean, as good as it did with the... Jeez. Yeah, it, it, stayed, uh, it stayed alive for a while. But then it... It finally died, but wow. Look the sod on there and everything, yeah, boy. That's her right there. So I hope they don't leave and set the alarm. He saw us, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah no, nobody really believes how beat up it was and banged up it was. It was. Still, holy heck. Yeah, the aerodynamics of it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. What we got here? This is Kurt Bush's car, and it won the Daytona 500 last year, 2017. This was the Daytona 500 winner right here. They just got it back. This thing is beat up. You talk about a fixer-upper, but it won. Won a Daytona 500, doesn't get any better than that. That's like the Super Bowl. Yeah, grass approved. Best glitter? I was gonna say that is cool. Best glitter, y'all. Yeah, it's full Yeah, I was here from day one, man. First banner they got hung up. So you were here when they started hanging banners? Oh yeah, I was here. Just, yeah, from the very first one. That's a lot of now we're starting to run out of room, and <laughs> obviously the two gold ones, those are our two championships. So. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. It was Stewart's idea to do the the little awesome. uh, sayings on the on the wall, the motivational stuff. Yeah. On the wall. Man, this place is clean. Holy yeah. Heck. It's impressive. Yeah. This is That's what Gene Hoss does. You know, he just built and designed these machines. All our. Uh, so these are running constantly. Just making parts? Making parts and pieces, yeah. So everything we do in here is CNC parts for the race car. Yeah. Everything in here. Yeah. Is this for all the race teams then? All four of ours. Yeah. Set cars up on, um, like we're at the racetrack. And then, and each team, you know, each team has its own plate, so. Oh, and that plate's got scales already made into it, so they can scale it on the ground. Yeah. We have three of those, so there's four total. And that's another um, feature machine there, so it actually, the scales actually push the wheels up and down. Hmm. And then those, that one on the end down there, it actually pulls the car the other way. Yeah. It pulls the car down, and the wheels and the scales stay stationary. Yeah. So do you build different cars for different tracks we you, do you have yeah. them set up each for... team has 16 cars so um each one of them are a little bit different um and mostly it is just for like you know certain ones we run more bracing in the body than we do on the others just yeah. for weight purposes yeah um and in some cars we designate just for short tracks just because of the ducts and the nose and the yeah. radiator placement and things like that that we specify you know um, where we want to run that car at. Yeah. Wow. A lot goes into it. Yeah. Holy heck. Yeah, that's wild. About how much 
do you have into a car when it's done, ready to race? Um, when it's barriers, done, when it's done with the motor all in it, uh, they're around two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand with mm -hmm. motors and everything in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why it hurts the weapon. Ooh. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, man. So all of our, these are all of our our paint booths. So uh, three of them are prep stations. So. These three over here on this wall, these are prep stations where we'll put the cars in, do all the Mondo work and all that, and then they'll come over here and get painted on these, uh, on these, uh, these boots over here. And they're all down draft boots, so it's uh, you know, the fumes and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, this is a prep room, see, so all the, they, they prep all the body, grind it, sand it, and all that stuff. Then it keeps separating from the paint side of things. Yeah. Wow. So what will they do? Just kind of paint them a base color and then wrap them? Yeah. They'll do a primer. Yeah. Uh, they'll do a primer and then, and then wrap them, but basically this is a downdraft, so there's filters in the ground under here. So uh -huh. when these filters, they change them once a month. So while they're spraying, you can stand in here. Yeah. There's no, no everything's kidding. getting sucked down through there, and you can breathe normal. There's no fumes, there's no nothing. Wow. So, uh, but they're painting crush panels and things in here now. But yeah, they can have, uh, you know, they can have up to five cars in here spraying them at one time. And they can go from room to room. You know, you go out the back of that one into the next one. That's pretty cool. And all of these are heated, so these things can be, uh, usually after they paint one, they'll bake it at 156 degrees for like 15 minutes. Wow. And it'll be, it'll be totally dry. And it'll just cure it that quick. Yeah, it'll cure Jeez. it that quick. Yeah. To, on a timer, they can paint a car, come outside, program how hot they want it, and what booth it is, set the timer and it'll cook it at 140 150 120 or whatever depending on how fast they want it to dry but yeah we, we painted cars and in 30 minutes we out here working on them. wow that's quick but we wrap most of them now but we do do a lot of uh, you know the primer work and the engine work and stuff like that and yeah. we do paint some cars does it has these projectors uh -huh. up here and all these projectors and then it has these cameras down here on the bottom you see them yeah yeah so just like nascar you roll a car in it stops you close the door you turn that light on those projectors come on and there's like millions of little green specks and it shoots all the whole entire car so it can scan and do a do a scan of a car in 30 seconds wow and tell you everything what parts out of tolerance intolerance it takes a picture like i showed you earlier yeah it's pretty amazing so then if you roll your car in there and it fails how many chances do you get to fix it well nascar gives you i mean you can do as many as you want but yeah. now nascar has a rule in if you fail the third time through um then your car chief is out for the weekend oh wow and you can't replace him and then your fourth time through you lose practice and the fifth time you lose more practice and then they start taking points away yeah and then if you fail the third time like i told you take your car cheap you also have to start at the back of the rate at back of the field that race so this has changed our industry on you know how we inspect race cars so you know this thing's three hundred fifty thousand dollars for this hawkeye system yeah for all the equipment and the you know the software and all is is incredible yeah but you know so we all the teams are having to buy them because that's this is what we do with at the track if you don't have one you're going to be in trouble yeah every bump in the racetrack on any groove anywhere wow so they'll we bring that home plug it in and this thing will run it around the racetrack so it'll sit here and shake and throw Just, it and it's this simulates the closest thing to being on the racetrack hmm. Every bump, every it's crazy how violent uh, the racetracks are. You'd never have any idea about watching in-car cameras or anything. Yeah. 
uh, how violent the cars are. Yeah. It, it would surprise you. Well, I know some of the races they're talking about, maybe uh, some of the tracks looking at getting resurfaced. Yeah. And they're like, no, we don't want them to do that because it takes away the integrity and like the yeah. track how it is. And these guys are used to driving it like that because when they resurface it, that changes everything. Yeah, it does. It changes everything. And each time they do, we have to come back, go do a new track map, yeah. come home, bring that data, put it in it, and then we have to put a car on it. And we can actually make changes to this car. This is a seven post car, it's yeah. just like we race. We can come in and change shocks, springs, all different sorts of things, and it'll tell us a grip level of the tire hmm. fed through the actuators and fed through these scale pads. It yeah. tells us exactly how much grip we're picking up or losing Shh. by changing a spring or a shock. And then when you're at the track and this is going around, can you tell on the computer what the car is doing as far yeah. as suspension and be like, oh, this isn't right, this is not off? A, not at the racetrack, but we yeah. can do it here. Yeah. We can we can run different files here yeah. at night while they're at the racetrack. What and can you monitor at the track when they're out there? What can you see other than like your fuel? And um, all we can do is we can tell his throttle, his braking, um, and the engine stuff, oh, RPMs. Okay. Um, but we that's it. Wow, that's, that's all it. NASCAR will let us. So do. that's all you're allowed to monitor. Yeah, wow. we can't monitor any. This is like this is so important. This is our next best thing to being on the track. Yeah. and collecting data is huh. this machine right here. Yeah. Wheels stay stationary because no. those are weight pads. You see, see those big posts under there? They take the car and throw the car up and down. It's so, like that car will be sitting there. Yeah. It, it'll be bouncing back and forth like it's actually going down the track. Yeah. It does. The wheels, the tires don't They, they do the same thing on side-by-sides. Yeah. They, do, they have a seven post for side-by-sides, all that stuff. They can sit there. And, and the, your, uh, your OEMs, they, they use this, you know, to, to do production cars. This yeah. is how they come up with you know, a good smooth ride on a production car. They mm -hmm. have the same same thing. Hmm. That's where this came from. Yeah. They come from the production side of things. Hmm. So has it changed things drastically going from Chevy to Ford? Yeah, on our side it did. Yeah. Every component that we had to, you know, the pretty much we had to start from ground zero. Yeah. Um, from mounting the motors in it to our cooling system, our wiring harnesses, our fueling system, everything had to change. Yeah, uh, it's just so different. You know, the aerodynamics were so different. All that stuff threw us for the curve. That's why it took us so long throughout the year last year to really. We didn't yeah. start really running really good till towards the end of the year, other yeah. than the 500. Yeah, the 500. You hit that you right know, out of the gate. Hit that right off. But you know, we we struggled from there on. Yeah. Till about you know three quarters of the way through the season, and we kind of hit our stride and we started learning more about it. And yeah. then, uh, you know, obviously this year we fired off pretty good. Yeah. Because we have a year under our belt with this. You know, with the with the fusion. So. Uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a learning curve. It's